After loading up the truck, I helped Drew package up some rainbow trout and headed off to Dirk's Fish and Gourmet Shop to cook dinner. Hi, Terry. Hey, Aqua Kids, how you doing? Very good. I hear we're making some trout burgers today. Yes. Mediterranean trout burgers. So this is what the trout looks like when you first get it. See, beautiful pieces of trout, beautiful skin. Then we skin it and we hand chop it and look at that pretty fish we formed. <laughs> and then we grab this delicious fish. We put it into our Mediterranean seasoning. So there's fresh garlic in here, there's lemon zest, there's pepper, there's oregano, salt. We mix it in and then I'm gonna have you guys form the burgers. I'm gonna do the first one and show you what it looks like. And this is a very delicious dish. It's a great way to introduce anyone who doesn't like fish to fish because there's going to be so many different flavors coming in here that they're not gonna even know they're eating fish. They may <laughs> even think they're eating, who knows, chicken. Right. Doesn't everybody say it tastes like chicken? This doesn't taste I've like heard. chicken though. So, so there's no fishy taste to it. Not, not this, this is a very mild fish and um, for that reason it really works well with all the seasonings that we're doing. So I'm gonna show you how to do the first one, okay? Okay. Okay. You're gonna put it in here, measure it into the third. You're going to pack it in so that you get a nice solid form. Then you're going to do this, and we're going to actually shape it into an oval because what I've actually created is something in the Mediterranean world called kefta. And that's what it looks like. And then you're gonna put them right here. So get to it, kids. Okay. Yum. There's another measure right there. So is that about Right, enough? as long as you pack it in nice and tight. Now flip it onto your hand and then shape it into the oval. <laughs> there you go. go, you did it. <laughs> and then kind of oval shape it, like the length of your hand as opposed to the palm. There you go, that's oh, it. Okay. That's like easier. Egg. Yeah. <laughs> like an egg, exactly. And now put it next to the other one and keep on going. All right. Awesome. And I think uh, Drew would like a little love to. chance at this. <laughs> sure. Drew told me it's one of his favorite foods, right? Kifta, it's the best. That's right. <laughs> and they're gonna have some good kifta and some good tzatziki and some pickled onions, I mean. Mm, sounds great. Mm -hmm. How's that? Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I make it all the time, it's so good. <laughs> all right, kids, come on and help me out here. Nice little oval. So about how many of these ovals can you make out of one Well, fish? this is actually um, two pounds. Two pounds. And um, it depends on the size of the fish. So basically what you want to buy, you're going to lose some of, from the skin, obviously. Right. So if you're getting two pounds of fish, you want it skinned. And this will give you probably about 12 to 14 burgers. And, you know, usually people eat two at most if it's a main course mm -hmm. um, and that's you know plenty so there we did it all isn't awesome. that beautiful gorgeous that's great. there you go <laughs> now we're gonna go grill all right Sweet. all right let's go out to the grill and who wants to grab the uh, pita for me I'll do it okay great follow me all right now Dirk can take over Hey, Dirk. Hey, kids. How you doing? Got great. the fish, huh? Yes, we do. Oh, you guys did a great job forming those rainbow trouts. Thank you. Um, we're going to pop these on the grill just for about three minutes aside. And these are uh, sustainable rainbow trout that we get from uh, Rushing Waters, Wisconsin. And I guess you guys are up there today, huh? Yes, we you were. We had a good day great for place. it. Yeah, it was good. But we're cooking these over a, uh, on our big green egg over uh, natural charcoal. And we're going to let these cook for about, probably about four minutes aside. Okay. And then when these come off, we're going to pop them off some pita on there. But you can just hang on to that for the moment. Um, we try to deal here at Dirk's Fish and Sustainable Fish. Uh, rainbow trout is one of our most local fish, so we get a lot of fish out of the Great Lakes. We get uh, whitefish, trout, smelts, lake perch out of Great Lakes also. But all over the world, what we dabble in only is sustainable fish and sustainable renewable products, and that's the best fish. I've been in this business 38 years, and I figure I want to keep it in another 38 years or more yeah. and have fish when you guys are around, when your kids are around. Yeah. I mean, so it's really, we got to pay a lot of attention to, you know, where we get our fish from and how it's produced, et cetera. So, um, real important these days. So, as you can see, these guys are kind of warming up there. They're kind of getting a little uh, brown or uh, white around the edges there. So, yeah. it'll take about three minutes to cook them, and we'll flip them over there. Hey, Casilla. Hey, Aqua Kids. 
So you're here from Shedd Aquarium to talk to us about sustainable seafood. That's right. So how can people in the market know which seafood is sustainable while they're buying it? That's a great question. So at Shedd Aquarium, we believe that choosing sustainable seafood, which is seafood caught or farmed in environmentally friendly ways, it's one of the easiest and tastiest things that we can do to protect the health of our waters worldwide. And so at the aquarium, we distribute this handy seafood wallet guide. You open it up, you see we have seafood rated in one of three categories. Green, these are the most environmentally friendly seafood. Yellow um, are relatively environmentally friendly. And red, the avoid column, are ones we recommend saving for special occasions only because they might be overfished and caught right. in a way that's not eco-friendly. You can also download this from our website at shedaquarium.org. And I'm excited that our trout burgers that Dirk is cooking up with you guys today is on our green list, Farm Rainbow Trout. There it is, awesome. Well, thank you for showing us this guide. It's really helpful to have with you when you go shopping. Sure. All right, Clark, uh, we're ready to do the pitas here. We're going to pop them on the grill and just going to toast them is all you want to do. And that grill's pretty hot, so it's going to go about 30 seconds a side. So okay. we just want to pop those guys on there and kind of distribute them gently. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, there's a couple different kinds of pitas. One is a pocket. This is actually a flat one. We're just going to fold it over when we do the fish there. So we just load up the grill with as many as you can get on there, and the rest we'll worry about later. Grill is definitely hot. I told you it was a hot grill, yeah. This is uh, one of my favorite grills and uh, it works quick though. It doesn't burn you too much, you know. You don't need those hairs on your forearm anyway. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Slide those guys over a little bit now. Uh, this is which was the first one you put on. That's always important to remember when you're putting stuff on the grill is to remember which one you put down first because that way you can give them like 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, just, seconds. yeah just give them like 10 seconds and then start with the first one and you work your way around. If you're doing shrimp or uh, multiple things, it's always good to remember where you start and then you kind of work your way back around so like that. Nothing gets overcooked? Or basically, overcooked. or you know, it's but it's good to remember, be a little organized on the grill. A lot of people aren't organized on the grill and they you know, end up burning a lot of stuff. So it's just a little tip that helps me a lot. Well, it looks like everything's ready. I'm ready to give it a try. So here it is, your delicious trout burger, some freshly made pickled onions and delicious homemade tzatziki. Yum. Here you go, Miss Rachel. Thank you very much. Are you ready, Drew? Yes, I am. I know you are. He wants the big one. He wants the big one? <laughs> I'm going to give him the big one right Thank there. You. And some delicious pickled onions. Mm. And some great tzatziki. We'll give you an extra dollar for that because oh, I know right you love there. it. How about you, Mr. Clark? I'd love some. Okay, good. Have you ever had this before? No, I'm excited. Have you ever had tzatziki before? No. Good. So, You're going to have uh, all new things. Whole new taste experience That's for you. Fun. There you go. Well, you enjoy, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you.